Hi, my name is Eric Floyd, master's student in clinical psychology, concentration neural psychology. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and and also 215 agent that's health, life, and annuities. I'm going to go ahead and read the remaining sections, section 1 through 11 uh, of Medicare and You. 2020, the official U.S. government Medicare handbook. CMS, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Signing up for Medicare. Some people get Part A and Part B automatically. If you're already getting benefits from Social Security or the Railroad Retirement Board, RRB, you'll automatically get Part A and Part B starting the first day of the month you turn 65. If your birthday is on the first day of the month, Part A and Part B will start the first day of the prior month. If you're under 65 you have and have a disability, You'll automatically get Part A and Part B after you get disability benefits from Social Security or certain disability benefits from the RRB for 24 months. If you live in Puerto Rico, you don't automatically get Part B. You must sign up for it. See page 16 for more information. If you have ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also called Lou Gehrig's disease, Lou Gehrig's disease, you'll get Part A and Part B automatically the month your Social Security disability benefits begin. If you're automatically enrolled, you'll get your red, white, and blue Medicare card in the mail three months before your 65th birthday or 25th month of disability benefits. If you do nothing, you'll keep Part B and will have to pay Part B premiums through your Social Security benefits. You can choose not to keep Part B, but if you decide you want Part B later, you may have to wait to enroll and pay a penalty for as long as you have Part B. See page 22. Note, if you need to replace your card because it's damaged or lost, sign in to your MyMedicare.gov account to print an official copy of your Medicare card. If you don't have an account, visit MyMedicare.gov to create one. If you need to replace your card because you think that someone else is using your number, call us at 1-800-MEDICARE, 1-800-633-4227. TTY users can call 1-877-486-2048. Some people have to sign up for Part A and or Part B. If you're close to 65 but not getting Social Security or Railroad Retirement Board benefits, you'll need to sign up for Medicare. Contact Social Security three months before you turn 65. You can also apply for Part A and Part B at ssa.gov forward slash benefits forward slash Medicare. If you worked for a railroad if you worked for a railroad, contact the RRB, that's Railroad Retirement Board. In most cases, if you don't sign up for Part B when you're first eligible, you may have a delay in getting Medicare coverage in the future. In some cases, over a year, and you may have to pay a late enrollment penalty for as long as you have Part B. See page 22. If you have end-stage renal disease, ESRD, and you want Medicare, you'll need to sign up. Contact Social Security and contact Social Security to find out when and how to sign up for Part A and Part B. For more information, visit medicare.gov forward slash publications to view the booklet, Medicare Coverage of Kidney Dialysis and Kidney Transplant Services. <coughs> Important. If you live in Puerto Rico and get benefits from Social Security or the RRB, that's Railroad Retirement Board, 
you'll automatically get Part A the first day of the month you turn 65 or after you get disability benefits for 24 months. However, if you want Part B, you'll need to sign up for it by completing an application for enrollment in Part B form, CMS-40B. If you don't sign up for Part B when you're first eligible, you may have to pay a late enrollment penalty for as long as you have Part B. See page 22. Visit cms.gov forward slash Medicare forward slash CMS dash forms forward slash CMS forms forward slash CMS dash forms dash items forward slash CMS 017339.html to get form CMS 40B. That's that's form CMS-40B in English or Spanish. Contact your local Social Security office or RRB for more information. Where can I get more information? Call Social Security at 1-800-772-1213 for more information about your Medicare eligibility and to sign up for Part A and or Part B. TTY users can call one 800 325-0778. If you worked for a railroad or get RRB benefits, call the RRB at 1-877-772-5772. TTY users can call 1-312-751-4101. You can also get it free, you can also get free personalized health insurance counseling from your state health insurance assistant program. SHIP. See the back cover for the phone number. After you've enrolled in Medicare, you need to decide how to get your Medicare coverage. See pages 5 through 9 for more information. If I'm not automatically enrolled, when can I sign up? If you're not automatically enrolled in Premium Free Part A, you can sign up for Part A once your initial enrollment period starts. Your Part A coverage will start six months before the month you apply for Medicare or Social Security uh, RRB benefits, but no earlier than the first month you turn 65. However, you can only sign up for Part B or Part A if you have to buy it during times listed below. During the times listed below, important. Remember, in most cases, if you don't sign up for Part A, if you have to buy it, and Part B when you're first eligible, you may have to pay late enrollment penalty. See page 22. <clears throat> Read that again. Remember, in most cases, if you don't sign up for Part A, if you have to buy it, and Part B when you're first eligible, you may have to pay a late enrollment penalty. See page 22. Initial enrollment period. You can first sign up for Part A and or Part B during the seven month period that begins three months before the month you turn 65. Includes the month you turn 65 and ends three months after the month you turn 65. If you sign up for Part A and or Part B during the first three months of your initial enrollment period, in most cases, your coverage starts the first day of your birthday month. However, if your birthday is on the first day of the month, your coverage will start the first day of the prior month. If you enroll in Part A that you have to pay for and or Part B the month you turn 65 or during the last three months of your initial enrollment period, the start date for your Part B coverage will be delayed. <coughs> Special enrollment period. <coughs> After your initial enrollment period is over, you may have a chance to sign up for Medicare during a special enrollment period. If you didn't sign up for Part B or Part A if you have to buy it, when you are first eligible because you're covered under a group health plan with 20 or more employees based on your current employment, your own, a spouse's, or a family member's if you have a disability, you could sign up for Part A and or Part B. Anytime you're still covered by the group health plan during the eight month period, during the eight-month period that begins the month after the 
employment ends or coverage ends, whichever happens first, that's when you can sign up for Part A and or Part B. Anytime you're still covered by the group health plan, as well as during the eight month period that begins the month after the employment ends or the coverage ends, whichever happens first. Usually you don't have to pay a late enrollment penalty if you sign up during a special enrollment period. This special enrollment period doesn't apply to people who are eligible for Medicare based on end-stage renal disease, ESRD. It also doesn't apply if you're still in your initial enrollment period. No. If you have a disability and the group health plan coverage is based on current employment of a family member, the employer offering the group health plan must have 100 or more employees for you to get a special enrollment period. How does my other insurance work with Medicare? <clears throat> when you have other insurance and Medicare, there are rules for whether Medicare or your insurance pays first. If you have retiree insurance, insurance from your spouse's former employment, Medicare pays first. If you're 65 or older, have group health coverage based on your spouse's current employment and the employer has 20 or more employees, your group health plan pays first. If you're 65 or older, have group, have group health plan coverage based on your spouse's current employment and the employer has fewer than 20 employees, Medicare pays first. If you're under 65 and have a disability, have, a, have group health plan coverage based on your or a family member's current employment, and the employer has 100 or more employees, your group health plan pays first. If you're under 65 and have a disability, have group health plan coverage based on your or a family member's current employment, and that employer has fewer than 100 employees, Medicare pays first. If you have Medicare because of end-stage renal disease, ESRD, your group health plan will pay first for the first 30 months after you become eligible to enroll in Medicare. Medicare will pay first after this 30-month period. If you have Medicaid, Medicare pays first. Here are some important facts to remember about how other insurance works with Medicare covered services. The insurance that pays first, primary payer, pays up to the limits of its coverage. <clears throat> the insurance that pays second, secondary payer, only pays if there are costs the primary insurer didn't cover. The secondary payer which may be Medicare, might not pay all of the uncovered costs. If your employer insurance is the secondary payer, you, may, you might need to enroll in Part B before your insurance will pay. Read that part again. If your employer insurance is the secondary payer, you might need to enroll in Part B before your insurance will pay. For more information, visit medicare.gov forward slash publications to view the booklet, Medicare and Other Health Benefits, your guide to who pays first. You can also call 1-800-MEDICARE, 1-800-663-4227 for more information. TTY users can call 1-877-486-2048. If you have other insurance or changes in your insurance, you need to let Medicare know by calling Medicare's Benefits Coordination and Recovery Center, BCRC, at 1-855-798-2627. TTY users can call 1-855-797-2627. If you have Part A, you may get a health coverage form, IRS Form 1095B, from Medicare by early 2020. This form verifies that you had health coverage in 2019. Keep the form for your records. Not everyone will get this form. If you don't get Form 1095B, don't worry. You don't need to have it to file your taxes. 
so important. I'll read that part again. If you have Part A, you may get a health coverage form, IRS Form 1095B for Medicare by early 2020. This form verifies that you had health coverage in 2019. Keep the form for your records. Not everyone will get this form. If you don't get Form 1095B, don't worry. You need to have it. You don't need to have it to file your taxes. How much does Part A coverage cost? You usually don't pay a monthly premium for Part A coverage if you or your spouse pay Medicare taxes or working for a certain amount of time. This is sometimes called Premium Free Part A. If you aren't eligible for Premium Free Part A, you may be able to buy Part A. In most cases, if you choose to buy Part A, you must also have Part B and pay monthly premiums for both. If you choose not to buy Part A, then you can still buy Part B. People who have to buy Part A will pay up to $437 each month in 2019. The 2020 Part A premium amounts weren't available at the time of printing. To get the most up-to-date cost information, visit Medicare.gov later this fall. <clears throat> what is the Part A enrollment penalty? If you aren't eligible for premium free Part A and you don't buy it when you're first eligible, your monthly premium may go up 10%. You'll have to pay the higher premium for twice the number of years you could have had Part A but didn't sign up. Example, if you were eligible for Part A for two years but didn't sign up, you'll have to pay a 10% higher premium for four years. How much does Part B coverage cost? The standard Part B premium amount in 2019 is $135.50. Most people pay the standard Part B premium amount. The 2020 Part B premium amount wasn't available at the time of printing. To get the most up-to-date cost information, visit Medicare.gov later this fall. I guess that's when this book was published, when this book came out. If your modified adjusted gross income as reported on your IRS tax return from two years ago is above a certain amount, you'll pay the standard premium amount and an income-related monthly adjustment amount, also known as IRMAA. IRMAA is an extra charge added to your premium. Visit medicare.gov forward slash your dash medicare dash cost forward slash part forward slash B forward slash uh, Part dash B dash costs. I'll read that again. Medicare.gov forward slash your dash Medicare dash costs costs forward slash part dash B dash costs or call 1 800 Medicare 1 800 633 4227 for more information. TTY users can call 1 877 486 2048. Note, you'll also have to pay an extra amount for your Part D premium, if applicable. See page 76. If you have to pay an extra amount and you disagree, for example, you have a life event that lowers your income, visit socialsecurity.gov or call Social Security at 1-800-772-1213. TTY users can call one 800 325-0778. Important. What's the Part B late enrollment penalty? If you don't sign up for Part B when you're first eligible, you may have to pay a late enrollment penalty for as long as you have Part B. Your monthly premium for Part B may go up 10% for each full 12 months in the period that you could have had Part B but didn't sign up for it. If you're allowed to sign up for Part B during a special enrollment period, you usually don't pay a late enrollment penalty. See page 17. Example. <clears throat> for what's, what's the Part B late enrollment penalty? Example. 
Mr. Smith's initial enrollment period ended December 2016. He waited to sign up for Part B until March 2019 during the general enrollment period. His coverage starts July 1st, 2019. His Part B premium penalty is 20% and he'll have to pay this penalty for as long as he has Part B. Even though Mr. Smith wasn't covered wasn't covered a total of 27 months, this included only two full 12-month periods. To learn how to get help with Medicare costs, see Section 7, which starts on page 83. How can I pay my Part B premium? If you get Social Security or Railroad Retirement Board benefits, your Medicare Part B medical insurance premium will be deducted from your benefit payment. If you're a federal retiree with an annuity from OPM and not entitled to RRB or SSA benefits, you may request to have your Part B premium deducted from your annuity. Call 1-800-MEDICARE, 1-800-663-4227 to make your request. TTY users can call 1-877-486-2048. If you don't get these benefit payments, you'll get a bill. If you choose to buy Medicare Part A hospital insurance, you'll always get a bill for your premium. There are four ways to pay these bills. Part A hospital insurance. Number one, pay by check or money order. Write your Medicare number on your payment and mail it with your payment coupon to Medicare Premium Collection Center, P.O. Box 7 nine zero three five five st louis missouri six three one seven nine dash zero three five five number two pay by credit or debit card to do this complete the bottom portion of the payment coupon on your medicare premium bill and mail it to the address above payment submitted without the bottom portion of the payment coupon may not be processed Number three, sign up for Medicare Easy Pay. This is a free service that automatically deducts your premium payments from your savings or checking account each month. Visit Medicare.gov and search for Easy Pay or call 1-800-MEDICARE to find out how to sign up. Number four, use your financial institution's online bill payment service. Electronic online bill payments are a secure and fast way to make your payment from a checking or savings account. Ask your financial institution if it allows customers to pay bills online. Not all financial institutions offer this service and some may charge a fee. You'll need to give your financial institution this information. Account number. This is your Medicare number. It's important that you use the exact number on your red, white, and blue Medicare card, but without the dashes. Bill or name. CMS Medicare Insurance, the maintenance address, Medicare Premium Collection Center, P.O. Box 790355, St. Louis, Missouri, 63179-0355. Note to RRB annuitants. If you get a bill from the RRB, mail your premium payments to RRB Medicare Premium Payments, P.O. Box 979 Zero two four St. Louis, Missouri, six three one nine seven dash nine thousand. That's dash nine zero zero zero. Last part of section one, signing up for Medicare. If you have questions about your premiums, call 1-800-MEDICARE. That's 1-800-633-4227. TTY users can call 1-877-486-2048. If you need to change your address on your bill, call Social Security at 1-800-772-1213. TTY users can call 1-800-325-0778.
If your bills are from the RRB, call 1-877-772-5772. TTY users can call 1-312-751-4701. If you'd like more information about paying your Medicare premiums, visit Medicare.gov to view the brochure Understanding the Medicare Premium Bill Form, CMS-500. Important. If you need help paying your Part B premium, see pages 86 through 88. Next video, I'll go ahead and read it, section two. I don't want to make the videos too long. Thank you.